Umbra Soft Shadows has emerged as a must-have solution to create beautiful soft shadows with great control in the Universal Rendering Pipeline. Among the many additions and improvements since its release, the Contact Shadows option provided the user with the ability to add shadows to small objects like vegetation and other intricate details, either at close or very far distances. Today, Umbra Soft Shadows goes even further by adding point light support for contact shadows. And in this video, we will cover how to make the full configuration. First, add Umbra Soft Shadows to your directional light, and remember to also have the render feature correctly set up. Disable the default shadows from the directional light source. Now, choose point lights in the contact shadow source, and in shadow source option, pick only contact shadows. This way, Umbra will only compute contact shadows based on the point lights on the scene. To make this work, we need to add the Umbra Point Lights Contact Shadows script to the point lights you want to have this feature enabled. Once you add the script, you will see that a box trigger will be added to the point light. This box trigger is useful to ensure only the appropriate point light casts contact shadows since currently, and for performance reasons, only one point light can cast contact shadows at a single time. In the main Umbra Soft Shadows Properties panel, drag and drop the object that will trigger the shadows. The fade distance parameter let you achieve a smooth transition when the trigger enters or exits the defined volume. Finally, in the main Umbra Soft Shadows script, make all the necessary adjustments for how the shadows will look by adjusting all the provided settings. Also, enable planar shadows to ignore the point light altitude in order to compute shadows evenly regardless of the point light Y axis. That's it. Now you can create beautiful shadows in your scenes for any of your point lights. Thanks for watching the video and remember to subscribe and follow our social media to stay tuned with latest updates.